elope? Romantic, huh? Elope? Yeah. It'll be our wedding, and we won't have to deal with anybody else's attitude about it. Plus, we'll save a bundle of money that we can use for a new place, or an amazing honeymoon. Elope? Yeah, and then it'll be a done deal. So then when we see your mom, what can she say? I know exactly what she'd say. She'd say, how can my baby girl elope and not have me at her wedding? Which is way better than, I won't let my baby girl marry that guy. Look what we found. Chris, what do you make of this? You found that in the woods. Yeah, in the woods, Barry. Yeah, it's a shiny silver box. I can't believe you said something to Matthew. Girl, please. Why else did you come to me with it? And like I wouldn't get in his face anyway, the way he was acting. I just don't want him to get any more upset. He was going to be no matter what. It's a man's right. But I talked him down. Thank you. Finally. <laughs> You're welcome. You know, Matthew is one jealous puppy right now. He could have put you both in a world of hurt. I don't understand you, kid. And why is that? When you hear a total stranger's phone call and you're ready to jump in and provide information? I'm a pretty helpful guy. <laughs> so you're not out to settle a score of your own? And if I am? Look, I don't like wasting my time. You won't like it either. Hey, you want your money and I want to see the guy who took it pay. <laughs> Sometimes life works out that way, huh? Sometimes. Have you seen the money? No, but I know the guy who took it is carrying it around with him in a backpack. Ooh, very careless. Nate said it was prop money for a school play. But that was a lie, so he had to have stolen it. Nate. Nate Salinger? There you go. Does Manning stop by here much? You don't have to worry about him. This is my headache. Unless the DA could put him away for that attack on Marty Saybrook. It's a big if. You don't think they could build a case? I'm not sure if it's the right one to make. You're liking that O'Connor girl for that one, too, huh? Can't be sure. A lot of bells are going off. Well, maybe we should be worried about Star Manning. You know, if anyone's in danger, it's, it's Cole. Hannah's fixated on him. If he sets her off, there's no telling what she'll do. What's wrong? I found this in the bedroom. Okay. It's Star's diploma. That doesn't mean that she and James, you know. This does. What? I can't do this. Okay, you are just paranoid and downright crazy when it comes to John McBain. So, he doesn't give a damn about Star. That's because he doesn't think that she is in any danger. And that's a big difference, Todd. And there's no way that he's holding back on the investigation just to stick it to you. Baby. He's not going to actually look for him. Oh, my gosh. He's got a manhunt out for her. Why are you he making this jail. all about you? He doesn't care if Star gets hurt. Okay, just it. stop right now. Because if this is you being rational, I'm going to do all the talking. Got no, it? No, no, this is my deal. I bought the car. Mr. Manning, I wasn't what? expecting you. What are you talking about? We're supposed to meet Star here today. I got the feeling she wasn't coming back. Wait, the star was here earlier already? You could say that. What does that mean? What are you talking about? She showed up and threw a big fit when I didn't give her $60,000 cash. Then she stole a car. I'm sorry. It's really. okay. I'm sorry, too. Why? I mean, you, you, it wasn't... I, it was me. <sighs> If you didn't notice, I was right there. I didn't. I really am sorry. I don't want to cause any more problems between you and Star. Don't worry. We did this all by ourselves. And I can't make it worse by hooking up with you. Hooking up? 
Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be fair using you to hurt Star because Star hurt me, and you don't deserve that. After what Four did to you. You mean you don't want to use me and then dump me? Exactly, I couldn't. Is that all it would be? What? If we... I mean, would it just be... Do you care about me at all? Because our daughter is not a car thief. I can show you the security footage if you like. Well, yeah, sure. My whole security team will be looking at that footage. Definitely your daughter. Wait a minute. This man, which is my ex-husband, purchased the car for our daughter. Yeah, it's a really nice car, too. It's an SUV, tricked out. Yeah. Sweet. So it's not a theft. Ms. Manning decided she didn't want the car. She wanted the cash instead. I explained to her that the money was her father's, so any cash refund would go to him. This is where she threatened me and demanded to see my manager. Uh, that's my girl. Then, while I was showing a car to her accomplice, she took off like a bat out of hell. Accomplice? Hannah put her up to it, Todd. Ma'am, I get the feeling no one forces your daughter to do anything. Who was she with? Young man, but I assure you, she was in charge. She barely slowed down enough to let him in. Now that's cool, making her do all the dirty work. I don't know that, but is, is this who you saw? Well, that's the girl, but that's not the boy she was with. Who leaves a case like that in the middle of the world? That's what I said. So why are we opening it again? You haven't opened it? No, not yet. Why not? He wanted an audience. Enough with the suspense. Well, just open it already. All right. One, two, three. Nothing! Ford's Body Shop. Isn't it Ford Body Shop? No, it's a name, not the brand. Hard. You need your roommate, Ford? So that's good. Let's start with Matthew. I guess. What? I don't know. It's just sudden. I mean, like, he's all upset, and then 10 seconds later, there's no problem. He was really mad. He probably still is. At me. No, I'm the one who hurt him. But he cares about you. So let's hope he blames me, and then you two can go back to being okay. You know, like, friends. Yeah, <laughs> I got it. All right, well, we pulled the lugs on Hannah's phone in the dorm. A couple calls to her parents earlier in the term, but nothing now. You better so. Uh, a couple of classmates said it was all about classwork, and a whole bunch of calls to Ford. Nothing else stands out? No, she's quiet, uh, did her homework, nobody really knew her well. Parents? Well, let me see. Uh, parents been a year for a couple of months. Last known pension was in Umbria, and they were on their way up north backpacking. That's great. State Department flagged their passports. Yeah, I want to hold my breath. McBain. Yeah? Really? Wh wh which exit? Okay. Thanks. Let me know. Hannah left the state. She's on a plane? No, she used her speed pass on Interstate 95. She's in Delaware.